You? Is anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends, the Goldbergs, are here. Yes, it's the Does program. Does, you know, is the new kind of soap for everything in your wash. Well, let's look in at the dozens. And there's Pa listening to the radio. And there's Ma just coming in. My, she looks pleased. Pa, ain't it grand? Mm. Me and Daz just patched up a quarrel between the Thompsons. Well, how's that, Ma? Well, you know, Miss Thompson's wild about Daz for doing everything in her wash, but she'd never tumble to Daz having everything for dishes, too. Well, is that right, Ma? Yep. She'd never heard how Daz suds stand up till the last dish is done and cut grease like 60, yet they're kind to hands. Mm, I hope you told her. Sure. That's how I patched up their quarrel. Mm, what happened? Well, seems Mrs. Thompson's been washing stacks of dishes since her sister-in-law and the two youngins moved in. She told oh. Mr. Thompson they'd have to go. She didn't mean it. That's what I figured, Pa. So I traipsed into her kitchen and poured some does in her dishpan. She just beamed, Pa, when she saw how those does suds keep standing up. She did? We washed <laughs> dishes for eight people, and we didn't have to keep adding soap. Mm, lots of greasy pans, I bet. Yep, but does goes after grease, hammer, and tongs. It cuts even tough grease in less than half a minute. No hard scouring, either. Nope. Then Mrs. Thompson says, I hate to think how my hands are gonna look. Well, uh, didn't you show her how nice your hands are, Ma? Oh, go long, Pa, sure. I says, does a leave your hands soft and pretty? And it did, Pa. Just now when I saw her, she grinned and says, land sakes, with does, who's going to worry about relatives and a few more dishes? That's right. Does is the only leading granulated wash day soap that combines all this for dishes. Makes suds that stand up till the last dish is done, cuts grease like 60, yet it's kinder to your hands. Try does, D-U-Z. It has everything for dishes. And now, the Goldbergs. Tears. Idle tears, as Jake would say when anyone else but his new daughter-in-law cries. But Grace, Sammy's new wife, has tears that are anything but idle. Oh, they're careful tears. Tears that are planned to drip their way into Molly's heart. And Jake's finances. For the girl Sammy married seems to be a curious, twisted character despite her good looks, good sense, and charm. What's more, we know she has a friend from her hometown working on a nearby farm. The fly in the ointment is that Rosie suspects that George and Grace know each other, and she wonders what they're up to. Molly and Jake are still trying to find out why their new daughter-in-law is so unhappy. Listen. Hello? Yes, speaking in person. H how are you, Mary Foot? Well, not as usual. Well, I, I'm feeling just so-so. No, nothing physical, darling. Not physical. Physical, so you call a doctor. So it's a headache, so this, so that, something. No, darling. I'm mentally unbalanced. Yeah. Well, my daughter-in-law is not feeling so well. Well, that's why I wouldn't be able to come tonight. Look, darling, abide with me for one more week. Yes, dear, and I'll surely be next week to the meeting. Yeah. Tell the girls. Very well. How are your chickens doing? Uh-huh. Well, my bullets will be laying soon if they're not roosters. All right, dear. Thank you. Bye. Oh, yes, darling. Molly, whatever we have to do to help Grace, our daughter-in-law will do. Every time she cries, my heart trembles. All right, darling, so, so, so go inside. Why should I go inside? Let me talk to her alone. Not at all. Where is she now? Inside, standing by the window with a handkerchief. Oh, so, Jake, darling, you, you're prepared to say to her... I'm prepared to help her. If it's financial... I'm prepared if I have to borrow or steal or... I'm prepared. I would help a stranger, shouldn't I help my own flesh and blood? Very well, darling. All right. Very well. Then we're prepared to help her, whatever, whichever. G Grace? Yes, Molly? Please come in here, dear. Please. Grace, dear. Grace? Grace, this can't go on. Are we your family or are we or not? 
<laughs> we, we wanna help you, Grace. I only wish you could. Why is it so impossible? Why is it that we can't help you? <laughs> Why, Grace? Why? We wanna help you so that we can keep you. <laughs> if you were rich people, if you had... What do you need and how much do you need? Oh, you don't understand. <laughs> oh, but we can't understand if you don't tell us. If I told you, it would only worry you. Because you can't help. I know you can't help. Aren't we worrying now? Aren't our minds confused and alarmed now? How can I sleep nights if I know my, son, my son's wife can't sleep? Please. You're so good. I know you want to help. I know you do everything and anything to help. And I know that you can help. I can solve this myself. I must. I will. You're being very cruel to us, Grace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tell us, darling. Well, let us try to help. I mean, we're older. We have experience. <laughs> if only Sammy were here. If only he were here with me. That's why I'm here. And me, his father. <laughs> now, now, please. I'll tell you. I just want to get it clear in my own mind. He's coming up the path now. Uh, George, I think. George? Oh, George, I'm not just fine. coming. <laughs> Wipe your eyes, Grace, darling. Wipe your eyes and go inside. I'm all right. Hello there. Hello, George. Come in, George. Oh, Come thanks. In. Gee, what a beautiful day. Say, you've been crying. Just something flew in her eye. Oh, gee. Masha wants me or something or other? Or, uh... um, no, no. She just said something about a field you wanted plowed when I could get around to it. Yeah, well, uh, which field, Jack, dear? The one behind the barn. The one behind the barn? I, I thought the one by the orchard, I thought. By the orchard field? The other one is more fertile and... But Marcia thought... Uh, let me show you, darling. She said... What is there to show? George, let me show you. Uh, make up your mind uh, anything you say. You go out and look it over and, and then tell me. I, I think the orchard one, Jake, dear. Well, if, 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 Must if, you go now? Well, if George wants to plow now, I will All go All right, excuse now. me. I'll come I George, say I'll by, by, by the barn is, is, is better, not the one by, 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 by the orchard, darling. So if I should go... What happened? Why didn't you just rush over and take me in your arms and kiss my tears away while you were at it? Well, gee, look at yourself. What'd you do? Get hysterical or something? And stop staring at me. You're a great help to do business with. Well, tell me what happened. When are you coming up with a good story? Oh, I've been thinking. Well, I've been crying for two days. I've got to figure out something soon. We know it's money. Are you sure they'd turn over Rosie's money to us? Oh, I'm positive. Yeah, I won't. Well, let me do the wondering. Now, here's an idea I have. Will you pay attention and stop looking at my red eyes? I only rub them. You sure looked as if you've been crying. Now, listen. Suppose I say I have a brother or a sister, a sister, let's say, who's in trouble. What kind? Well, something she needs money for. Say she worked in a bank. Oh, Grace, that's old stuff. Well, it's only because you know it isn't true. These things happen every day. Let's say she's a teller in a bank and she needed money to... Oh, don't be a fool. Mm, let's say she got married. Just got married and the man she married had a little dough. And my sister wanted to make an impression. So she said she had money and would furnish the apartment and so on, hoping to get the money back later. Oh, it sounds silly to me. Well, think of the Goldbergs. They're very soft-hearted. Love means a lot to them if it doesn't to you. Who said it didn't mean anything to me? Why, honey, you know Let that... Let go of me. Somebody might come in. George, All listen, right. will you? Now, this sister of mine took the money. She spent it. Built a beautiful home and all that. And now, well, let's say her husband's sick. An appendix. He's in the hospital. And the books have got to be examined. She has to cover everything quick, and she can't sell the stuff. She's stuck. It's got a lot of bugs in it. Oh, we can iron it out. It sounds quick. We'll get the dough and get out. Come on, sit over there. Look, can you get out of the house so we can talk this thing over? Well, I can if you can think of something. All right, Jay, whichever you say, we'll, we'll do whichever field you want to do, we'll do. Well, George, Mrs. Colbeck says the orchard field. It can be the barn field also. I don't care, it's not consequential. Maybe I'll plow them both for you. How about it? Well, uh... uh thank you, darling. Thank oh, you. Oh, don't Emma. thank me. I don't mind. I never complain about being outdoors. I like simple things, natural things. They make me feel good. <laughs> for instance, the old sow had seven little ones. And seven? Yeah. Oh, my. What did she have? Uh, she had seven little pigs. Pigs. She had seven pigs and pigs. Oh, my. I could stand there and look at them all day. Oh Say, my. maybe you'd like to see them. You're a city girl. Go, Grace, darling. Go. Why, why shouldn't you go, darling? You'll feel better. N nature is grand, especially pigs. Go, darling. Go. And when you'll come back, we'll talk about the other matter. Go, dear.
Here, slip on the sweater. No, I don't. Go, go, dear, please, please. Nothing is so bad that when it gets worse that somebody don't make it better. You'll see. Well, if you're coming. <laughs> go, dear, darling. Please, Mother, I don't. Go, dear Grace, please go. If you got high heels, change them. <laughs> no, she's got on her walkers. You got your flat footers, huh? Yes, Mother. All right, dear. And not too long, because Rosie will come back from the post office and we'll eat supper. Uh, Rosie got a sweetheart? No, she went to mail an application with her college entrance. Oh, gee, that's well. <laughs> Rosalind? Hello. Hello, darling. Hello, George. Hello, Rosie. Uh, well, go, Grace. Where are you going? Marsha's pig had seven little pigs. <gasps> when? <laughs> when, George? This morning. Oh, I'd like to see them. So go, but don't be long. <gasps> seven little pigs. And off they go, with Grace's plan for a quiet talk spoiled, but not the basic plan. The horrible, petty scheme, the nasty little trick which Grace invented. It's hard to understand how Sammy could marry a girl like this. Yes, friends, Molly Goldberg is always ready and willing to lend a helping hand. And speaking of lending a helping hand reminds me of a gallant gesture Unky Dozum claims to have made. Oh, that Unky. He told me... You, you know, last night I dreamed I was Sir Walter Raleigh. Yeah? Yeah, and I threw down my cape over this puddle so the queen wouldn't wet her feet. Uh-huh. Then... You know, I got madder than Hobbs. Why, Unky? Well, there I was with my cape all muddy mm -hmm. when I remembered, good gosh, does ain't been discovered yet. <laughs> Poor Sir Walter Raleigh with no does. But you know, even now, lots of folks are amazed to hear that this new kind of soap does everything in the wash. Yes, does. Does grimy overalls, streaky towels to pretty rayon undies. In fact, does is the only leading granulated wash day soap that gives longer life for colors, plus unsurpassed whiteness for towels and real cleaning power for the dirtiest work clothes. Like Unky says... It was a lucky day when they discovered does. Yes, even in the toughest wash, does does everything. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs. They hear a story and tack on their own ending. This is Clayton Collier speaking for Procter & Gamble and saying, do as the dozens do. Let does, the new kind of soap, do everything in your wash.